Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and when last we met on this Pipulate project, you'll remember I supported <clears throat> URL arguments in the form of geo to cause the question mark replacement to happen here. <clears throat> and for my next step, I believe what I want to do is turn debug mode on and uh, get rid of hello.py and just make this all work off of the pipulate file again. So first let's make sure I've got the correct uh, syntax for adding debug mode. Debug equals true. I'm pretty sure that's all there is to it. And uh, oh, before I turn debug to true, I think I'll give you a before and after. Remember that um, uh, internal server error 500 that we got. Well, that was caused when hello didn't return any feedback. So here is no feedback being given. Run that server again. No return value being fed. So as soon as we see the server running, we can go like this. Internal server error. Not a lot of information there, is there? So Let's uh, control C out of this. And then debug equals true. Run the server again. Oh, I don't think I ever quit it. There we go. Run the server again. And now instead of this very uh, terse generic error, we should get debug errors generated by. There we go. Generated by Flask or uh, Verkskeg or whatever that, uh, that thing is. Yes, this is what we want. Now I want to see if debug mode being on eliminates the need to stop and start a server. I believe I uh, read that somewhere. So let's return. I didn't restart. And see if the error goes away, and we get that feedback. It might take a moment. There you go, I didn't restart. Well, I did restart. As I can see, the server was momentarily taken offline. But debug mode must be uh, sitting there detecting changes to your script and restarting the server automatically so you don't have to. So. Yeah, uh, to make this video, I guess, uh, have some more meat to it, I am going to uh, copy this content over into Pipulate. And this is replacing, I'm going to do it in pieces just to make it understandable. Yank, tabby, Pipulate, jump to the bottom. for insert mode. Escape out of insert mode after putting that line in. Oh, I pasted with the operating system. I'm going to just paste with uh, the Vim buffer. There you go. So now we have the way the, uh, the server starts. But now we have to jump to the top of the file and uh, do the import. The imports. So this is, let's see, G is for navigation, so GT for tab navigation. We want everything but uh, from Pipulate, of course, but I'm still going to yank it all. Uh, GT, paste, get rid of the from Pipulate, pull these together, and uh, yeah, okay. GT, and then this guy here, which uh, we don't really need this anymore. 
And we'll get this back to the way it's supposed to work. Shift V. And uh, <laughs> where should this go in the other file? Well, let's yank it. GT. And uh, I guess it doesn't matter because it's not going to be invoked until uh, it reaches the bottom and has sampled everything in the program. So this should essentially make us have to type python space pipulate.py now instead of hello.py and if that works we can uh, remove uh, the hello.py file from the repository. We're going to control C out of the web server because it was running against uh, hello.py and it's clear and it's a lot to look at. Python pipulates.py This should give the exact same result as the hello.py, but now we've eliminated the need for one of the files. Starting with reloader, okay. Now I should get the do nothing. And if I put the question marks in, and I'll just put one question mark in, just demonstrate to everybody this is going somewhere. Go. And the question mark is replaced. Voila! We are now working off of uh, one less file. We can uh, control C out, ls, and now we can git remove hello.py and uh, let's see cached to keep the file oh it has local modifications so uh, we can force it ls get status okay only the modified uh, one is uh, pipulate.py that's good Oh, I need to remember to uh, add a dot .swp files that are generated by vim to my to my git ignore. In fact, let me uh, vim .git ignore while I'm here. star .swp save it git status. Uh, Oh yeah, no, that's exactly what I wanted. The uh, SWP files are not being reported. There's two modified, one deleted. Git commit am root flask commands into pipulate and deleted hello. Git push. Well, thanks for joining me and hope to talk to you soon and don't forget to subscribe.